Alrighty, well after looking for a damn part for our headphones so we can activate the headphone splitter into my badass computer, it took months and months of searching, but we finally found it. And now, that means that we are ready to react to Seven. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a rumor. Thank you. Anyway, guys, for those of y'all that don't know, maybe you do, maybe you don't, if this is the very first time you're checking out some of these videos, or this is your very first time on one of my channels, then yes, this person would be brand new to you, and she is my beautiful wife, and to you, her name is OnlyFans, number 193. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not gonna happen. Oh, I thought we were, thought we were about to watch. We are. Guys, y'all voted this in on Patreon. If you guys are watching right now and you want access to full-length movie reactions or the polls to vote in the next non-Marvel movie we react to, such as this one, link to the Patreon will be at the top of the description. And without further ado, let's get to seven. Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey, Brad Pitt. Slap them all, slap them in, slap them out, slap your gooch. You ready? I'm ready. All right, gooch slaps good, let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> you said no further ado, and then there was a lot of ado. Yeah. I have root beer and coffee. I'll put the root beer into your coffee. Nah. Okay. All right. This movie was made in 95. I was one. You were three. Oh, shit. Damn near collapsed. Damn, Morgan Freeman looks young as hell there. Is that a switchblade? It's a switchblade. Neighbors heard them screaming at each other like for two hours. Oh, God, that's a dead. I thought that was a sleeping person. Can't see it. What? what kind of fucking question is that? No, we are all gonna be real glad when we get rid of you, Somerset. Why? If the kids see it, who gives a fuck? If the kid's still damn alive, then we should care if he saw it or yeah. not. He's gonna be fucked up. I'm Detective Mills. Brad P. Are you attracted to Brad Pitt? No. You actually fought to get reassigned here. I've just never seen it done that way before. Thought... Hmm. It would be great for me if we didn't start out Kicking each other in the ball. Worked homicide five years. Not here. I understand that. Well, over the next seven days, detective, you'll do me the favor of remembering that. There's seven. Seven days. Mm. I get a weird vibe from him. I don't know. He's a little, little fishy. A little sketchy. There's like kind of a glare thing that's kind of throwing me off. Yeah, he's kind of got to deal with it. Okay. What's the metronome for? To help him sleep? I don't know. I think it's like white noise, maybe. Oh, Gwyneth Paltrow's in here. She's from Iron Man. Wonder how much like leeway we give them if it's like there's some old school outdated aspects of the movie. 95, I don't think it should be too crazy. We'll see if it holds up and stands the test of time. <laughs> it's hard to hear you. Yeah, they're noise canceling. Well, they're working. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> sure are. Makes me feel like I'm watching an industrial metal video. Monday. Don't look at his nipples. <laughs> Hello? Boy was ready for that. Wow, well, I might want to get rid of this little crusty. Ew. Crusty's a disgusting word. Come here, let me get some of that eye goop out. What? I beg your pardon, detective, but this guy's been sitting in a pile of his own piss and shit. What? Oh, those TVs are awful. <laughs> Those big ass, thick ones that are clunky assholes. Mm. Ew. Oh. Oh my god. I thought the spaghetti thing was like metaphorical. Oh, like red everywhere? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. what the fuck? You said this was murder. Go on. That's how it's gotta be the size of a canned ham. What? Canned ham? Oops. Oh shit. Got dead on the ground. Oh! Back, murder, right? <laughs> Did the synopsis say murder? The seven murders? Serial, yeah, I think it was a serial killer. Got a bucket here. What's in it? Oh, don't tell me it's shit. It's shit. Oh, I missed it. I don't know if it is. Oh! They need some PPE on. Detective Mills, would you go help the officers question the neighbors? What? Send in forensics on your way out, please. The, the dead dude is the size of a love sack. A large beanbag he is. Uh, 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 the sound effects are disgusting. I made a decision. 
I had to consider the integrity of the scene. Couldn't worry whether you thought you were getting enough time on the playing field. Don't jerk me off. <laughs> oh. Long time. And I can tell you it was God. Not oh God, his man. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Now look at this. See how big this stomach is? And the strange thing is, it stretches. So we did die by eating. Yes and no. Hmm. Gun pressed against his head? Pressed hard enough, sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a homicide. Wow. Killer put a bucket beneath him, hmm. kept on serving. That's when the killer kicked him. And he burst. Oh. And you want somebody dead, you drive by and shoot him. You don't risk the time it takes to do this, unless the act itself has meaning. I'd like to be reassigned. But whoa, what in the hell are you talking about? Six more days and you're all the way gone. This should not be his first assignment. Oh, come on. Maybe it'd be Shut better. Shut up, Mills. <laughs> <laughs> all these men really need some Botox. But it looks like you're stuck cleaning up the fat man. Tuesday. So you got an old ass guy who's about to retire. You got a young buck on the scene working together. Two very different approaches. Old dude, young dude. Yeah. I've just come from a meeting of law enforcement officials. And they have their very best men on this. This will be swift justice. It's a lot of pressure. Oh God. Greed. Oh shit. Oh wow. That kind of looks like Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Have you heard the news? Nope. Eli Gould was found murdered this morning. Someone broke into his law firm and bled him to death. Put the word greed on the floor. Mel's is heading up the investigation. Excuse me? Could you not do that, please? <laughs> <laughs> Get stepping, Garth. Got shit to do. What are you gonna do with yourself out there, Somerset? Oh, I'll work. Maybe on the farm. You're not gonna be a cop anymore. That's the whole idea. You do this work. You were made for it, and I don't think you can deny that. Oh, uh, coroner sent this down for you. Found him in fat boy's stomach. Looks like plastic. Why? They were fed to him. What? He's got a 10 count of bean and cheese burritos in there. Boy stanking out his bathroom all day. Oh, this is the, the this is the large man's apartment? Huh? This is the fat dude's place? Okay. Oh, what? Gluttony. This was found on the wall behind the refrigerator. There are seven deadly sins, Captain. Gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, pride, lust. Sloth? And envy. What is sloth? Is that like laziness? I don't know. Hmm. You can expect five more of these. I can't get involved in this. He sounds involved in this. Yeah, he's gonna be, for sure. Where are you headed? Far away from here. Being a cop is crazy because it seems like it's one of those jobs that like you get so used to it becomes your lifestyle mm -hmm. But I feel like there's so much crazy shit to see you would get burnt out But then again, it's like that's the only thing, you know Once you've been in there for so long So I feel like your brain can't actually like rest and live normal life because you're always trying to go and do that type of stuff So even if you're retired, it's like you can't even enjoy it Yeah He's gotta be looking for the Bible, huh? No, I guess not. Ew, what the hell? Why is he veined out like that? She's a nurse, by the way, so I can ask her these questions. So it's gotta be a badass job, but it must be so stressful. Yeah. Dante. Goddamn poetry writing faggot piece of shit. He's upset. Yup. Good work, officer. I like their little hat uh, raincoats. Did you notice? <laughs> yeah. All the Cliff Notes versions. Oh, Were those like Cliff Notes? Yeah. Oh. Dingleberry. You know what that is? Oh. You don't know what a dingleberry is? No. no. It's whenever you shit and there's a piece of hardened poop in your butt hairs. Okay. She'd like to speak to you. What? Why? I, I appreciate the offer, but, well, in that case, I'd be delighted. Are you gonna say what she said? I've been invited to a late supper at your apartment. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man. Hello, loser. Oh, Gwyneth Paltrow is his wife. Hey, you're supposed to be Tony Stark's wife. I mean, not wife, but. William, I'd like you to meet David. 
David. This okay, is good. All right, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. She's cool. Why aren't you married, William? Oh, Trace, what the hell? Anyone who spends a significant amount of time with me finds me disagreeable. Very true. <laughs> Subway. It'll go away in a minute. Oh God! Fuck that's that. sad. <laughs> the soothing, relaxing, vibrating home. Mm. <laughs> 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 I don't know why you're laughing. Oh <laughs> I don't think I've seen a Morgan Fre Freeman movie wow. where he laughs that hard. Gold was bound. Right arm was left free. He was handed a butcher's knife. Check out the scale. Pound of flesh. Oh! His own flesh! There's a gun in your face. Which part of your body is expendable? How about the love handle? Ew. I'm just gonna get another beer. Beer? Uh, wine, please. Hmm, interesting. A wine drinker, man. Yeah, I see that. The sermons were about atonement for sin. These murders are like forced attrition. Hmm. It's when you regret your sins, but not because you love God. I like because someone's sticking a fucking gun in your face. I never heard of that word before. Neither. Oh shit. Oh wait, wait. Gould's wife. This means she saw something. Do you have to die? <laughs> that sucks. What if it isn't something she has seen, something she's supposed to see, but hasn't been given a chance? <laughs> Mrs. Gould, I am sorry. I truly am. I need you to look at each photo. Look and see if there's anything strange. Please, I, I just, I can't do this right now. Wait. What? Here, this painting, it's upside down. Hmm. Maybe it's another note behind the painting or something? Oh no, okay. The killer took it down for some reason. It's gotta be, it's gotta be in there, in the paper thing. Swiss blade. Uh? Unagi. God damn it! Must be something. Mm -hmm. Fingerprints, holy shit. Call the print lab. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Morgan, when are you gonna just call it like you're gonna stick around? Just by looking at the swell pattern. They're not the victim's fingerprints. What? They're not the victim's fingerprints? I've seen this baby take as long as three days to make a match, so maybe you guys want to cross your fingers somewhere else. You met what you said, Mrs. School, didn't you? About catching this guy. I wish I still thought the way you do. What did he say? That they're just gonna catch him? I don't remember, but probably. Even the most promising clues usually only lead to others. Sounds so over it. <laughs> clues only lead to more clues. I guess he's speaking from experience, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Glimmer twins. You've got to win. This doesn't seem like an eight to five job. No, God, no. 24-7. His real name is Theodore Allen. His prints were found at the scene by homicide. He's got a long history of serious mental illness. Well, yeah, no shit if he's doing that. Now, Victor dabbled in drugs, armed robbery, and assault. Spent some time in prison here a while back for the attempted rape of a minor. Oh. Doesn't seem like I'm a guy, does it? All killers seem to have more purpose. If he's huh? raping people and assaulting people like that, it, this guy seems much more calculated and careful and precise. Not so sloppy as to do all those dirty crimes. Yeah. This is the sketchiest ass place I've ever seen. Swat goes before dicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gonna be the next death. Oh, that would be cool. Why are all those smelly trees in there? Get up, you sack of shit. Guess he's dead. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck me. Dicks! <laughs> dicks. Oh. Well, now go. No one touches anything. Sloth. Sloth. Yeah, so the, the fingerprints behind the painting were this guy's fingerprints? Yeah, it's his fingerprints. Sloth, you said lazy. Person not wanting to work because of their lack of motivation. Damn, I didn't know that was a sin. Wow, well, yeah, me either. Are Wait. there people out there committing that sin? You lazy bastards? He was like this a year ago? I'm not sure. Got what you deserved. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive! He's alive! The cocksucker's alive! What in the fuck is happening? No. Oh my god. We have to divorce ourselves from emotion here. Oh. No matter how hard it is, we have to remain focused on hey the man, details. I see. Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? 
Rose crime scene. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, I got a right to be here. Yeah, fuck you. I got your picture, man. Oh, yeah? I got your picture. Oh, yeah? Fuck off. <laughs> it's the inexperience. Impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. <laughs> Given an antibiotic, which must have been administered to keep the bed sores from infecting. He chewed off his own tongue long ago. Oh! If you're sitting in a bed for a year, isn't your skin going to mold to the bed? It's Tracy. Is everything all right? I need someone to talk to. Do you think you could meet me? Sketchy. Just uh, give me a call, okay? I have to go now. I don't like that. That's weird. That's weird. I mean... <laughs> It makes me think about Kobe because I feel like Kobe's the only person I know here and he's like, you're... Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't just, like, call him like that. Why don't you tell me what's really bothering you, Tracy? David and I are gonna have a baby. I hate this city. We know what city it is? I remember thinking, how can I bring a child into a world like this? How can, how can a person grow up with all this around them? It's a good-ass question. I don't know. No, it was 30 years ago. I told her I didn't want to have it. Oh, okay. All right. And over the next few weeks, I wore her down. Oh, wow. What? He convinced her to get an abortion. If you don't keep the baby, I mean, that's your decision. But don't ever tell him that you were pregnant. But if you choose to have this baby, then you spoil that kid every chance you get. Jeez, that's so hard. That's... All the advice I can give you, Tracy. Or move, if if that's the problem, is the location. Might be the just the job in general, raising a kid around that environment. Mm. Part of me is like, she's got lustful eyes. You trying to do something that's... Mm, lust. Okay, yep, well. <laughs> Wait until the lunatic does it again. It's dismissive to call him a lunatic. Don't make that mistake. Come on, he's insane. Right now he's probably... Dancing around in, in, his, in his grandma's panties. Yeah, rubbing himself in peanut butter. Ooh. How's that? Nah, he's probably listening to damn jazz, smoking a cigar, drinking brandy. Imagine the will it takes to keep a man bound for a full year, to sever his hand and use it to plant fingerprints. Oh. This guy's methodical, exacting, and worst of all, patient. Just because if the fucker's got a library card doesn't make him Yoda. <laughs> It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Just because he's got a library card don't make him Yoda. Come on. Oh, but that, that meant something to him. Could you at least sit across from me? I don't want people thinking we're dating. <laughs> Give me your money. It's a deal. All right. What is... Better now. What is he doing? I don't know, I don't think. Well, that was money well spent. <laughs> Such an impatient boy right yeah, there, dude. Yeah. The guy in the pizza parlor is a friend from the Bureau. For years, the FBI has been up into the library system keeping records, monitoring reading habits. Oh. Anyone who checks out a flag book has his library records fed into the FBI's computers from then on. You can't use the information directly. It's just a useful guide. If you want to know who's reading Purgatory and Paradise Lost and Helter Skelter, the FBI's computers will tell us. Wow, that's sick. Is that it? Yeah. Let's try it. Jonathan Doe. John Doe. I feel like this is gonna be planted too. His name is John Doe. You do the talker. They look so suspicious. Well, he didn't run. Oh, oh fucking shit! That scared the fuck out of me. Holy shit! Go down! Go down! Yo, I would not go anywhere without like a bulletproof vest on, a helmet. <laughs> I got here in elbow pads, knee pads. Looking like a fourth grader that just got rollerblades. <laughs> Jesus, that scared me. Get out of the fucking hall, please! You need some composure. <laughs> Gotta. Ah, oh, that's so scary. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Oh God. Where, whatever city this is, I don't want to live there. <laughs> no, fuck that. Don't stand in front of it. Watch him be in there, just run his ass over. Fair point. Oh, fucking hell.
Oh my god, get there, dude! Didn't kill him. What the hell? What the hell was up with that? Damn, he's bloody as hell. He is. Did he get shot? Can't go in. No, we can't. We, we need a warrant. Cause. We got probable cause. I get can't tell you one of my Get out of the way. We have no reason to be here. too reckless, man. He's going to get himself <laughs> killed. Nah, fuck that. We no. need a reason no. to knock on this door. Or just say you heard someone screaming and bust it down. He's going to do it anyway. He's going to bust it down. Ah! Where is he losing? Is he, does he have a bullet? Wound on his chest? If he's actively bleeding that heavy, he's gonna pass out and he's to... How much money we got left? I noticed this guy going out a lot when the murders was happening. <laughs> they paid her to create the probable cause. Wow. Whatever works, damn, shit, I guess. The Bible. It's a lot of damn aspirin. The dude's place is super creepy. Very weird. What's up with him and spaghetti sauce? Oh, they're trophies from each killing. Mm, is that a common thing with serial killers? That's that is sweet. so weird. Ew, that makes my stomach hurt a little bit. He was taking pictures the whole time. Somerset! Yeah. What is it? Fucking photographer on the fucking stairs. Oh, what? Damn. They literally talked to him. And there's one more thing, and you're yes. probably not going to believe this. We haven't found a fingerprint yet. Um, not a single one. You're right. I don't believe you. Keep looking. Dude's probably so clever, he fucking got his fingerprints off. Wore them down or something. There are 2,000 notebooks on these shelves, and each notebook contains about 250 pages. Get what sick, ridiculous puppets we are, and what a gross little stage we dance on. What? I almost didn't notice it had happened, but I suddenly threw up all over him, and I couldn't stop laughing. What a fucked up dude. It's probably gonna be him. Hello. I admire you. John, I tell you. No, no, you listen, all right? I'll be readjusting my schedule in light of today's little setback. I feel like saying more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. That's super creepy. Why didn't he shoot him? Maybe it wasn't like in his plan. Maybe he feels like if he deviates from the plan and kills someone else, he's not going to the plan he set for himself. I even collected it last night. God damn it! Hey, I'm not fucking hey, with you! Come on, this way! Do some homicide! You... Oh, no. see oh, that! Oh, lust. Oh, my God. Look, I get this thing off of me! What is it? She was just, she was just sitting on the bed. This dude is torn up. <laughs> He, he, he put that thing on me. Dan, 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 he made me wear it. He, he, you see that? It's like a knife for his dick. He told me to fuck her. And I did. Wear it and then he fucks her with the damn knife. Oh my god. I didn't know what I was looking at. It looked like a strap on, but instead of the damn dildo, it's a knife. You should listen to yourself. Yeah, you say that the problem with people is that they don't care. So I don't care about people. It makes no sense. I don't think you're quitting because you believe these things you say. I think you want to believe them because you're quitting. Wow. So interesting throughout this whole movie to see the different ways that a younger guy and an older guy approach the same problem. Morgan Freeman has looked the same damn age for every movie I've ever seen him in. Yeah. Oh, I f totally forgot about the baby. I love you, honey. Right now. That is not a good response. What are you doing? Oh my god, okay. Alright, alright. It's one way to play darts. Sunday, last day, day seven. Can you repeat that? I've gone and done it again. Pride. You got? Uh, sleeping pills. Glued to one hand. Telephone glued to the other. You see what he did? Sliced her up. Oh! Call for help and you'll live, but you'll be disfigured. Or you can put yourself out of your own misery. Cut off her nose. Just bite her face. What the fuck is going on? I've decided to stay on till this is done. <laughs> there it is. I'm I requesting that you keep me on as your partner for a few more days. You'll be doing me a favor. Wow, tables have completely turned. Is this the fucking guy? Detective. 
That is him. Detective! You're looking for me. Hey! What? All the way! All the way, fucker! Down! What the hell is happening? Jesus Christ. Who the fuck is this? I'd like to speak to my lawyer, please. I am so confused. He cuts the skin off the tips of his fingers. That's why we couldn't find one. You call that? He so looks like history. he's got to have a care in the world. I'm telling you, there's no way he would just turn himself in. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Uh, he's just pissing in our faces. We're just taking it like idiots. The first time ever, you and I are in total agreement. Fuck. The client says there are two more bodies, two more victims hidden away. I thought it's already been seven. Detectives Mills and Somerset, two of these bodies, but only Detectives Mills and Somerset, he says he admires you. Are they going to be the last two bodies? Frankly, counsel, I'm inclined to let them rot. Yeah, you, in your $3,000 suit and that smug smile on your face, dealing for that piece of shit. Dude's got a $3,000 suit, but he's got a hairline from hell. Look at that fucking rag on his head. Aww. He doesn't even have a rag, but his hairline sucks. He says that if you do accept, under his specific conditions, he will sign a full confession, plead guilty right now. Wow. If you were to claim insanity, this conversation is admissible. And my client would like to remind you two more are dead. The press would have a field day if they were to find out the police didn't seem too concerned about finding them. Wow. <sighs> You'd be escorting an unarmed man. Let's finish it. <sighs> I got a bad feeling about this. So, what? <laughs> Shaving their chest together? Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, for a wire. Uh, I was like, how close of friends are they? <laughs> shave your chest? Huh? Have you ever shaved your chest? Have I ever shaved it? I think so. <laughs> I'm nervous. It makes me feel like it's too simple. Like, why go along with his plan? I get it, like, with the plea deal and the other two dead, but... You can't go along with his plan. It doesn't make sense. Who are you, John? Who are you really? It doesn't matter who I am. Who I am means absolutely nothing. So where are we heading? You'll see. Wanting people to listen, you have to hit them with a sledgehammer. And then you'll notice you've got their strict attention. <laughs> well, yeah, no shit. So what makes you so special that people should listen? I'm not special. Funny thing is, all this work, Two months from now, no one's gonna care. You can't see the whole complete act yet, but when this is done, people will barely be able to comprehend. Ah, the anticipation is killing me. I can't wait for you to see, I really can't. It's really going to be something. You know what, I'm gonna be standing right next to you. Oh. So when this big thing happens, Sorry, baby. be sure and let me know, because I wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, don't worry, you won't. He's a really good creeper. What's so exciting? It's not too far now. What a freak! He's sitting there playing with his Willis, getting ready to see the next act. What a fucking freak. Do you know that you're insane? Maybe you're just sitting around, reading guns and ammo, masturbating in your own feces. Ew. It's more comfortable for you to label me insane. It's not something I would expect you to accept, but I did not choose. I was chosen. If you were chosen, it seems strange to me that you would get such enjoyment out of it. Mm. It's a good point. I doubt I enjoyed it any more than Detective Mills would enjoy time alone with me in a room without windows. What? How happy would it make you to hurt me with impunity? I would never. You wouldn't only because there's consequences. Hmm. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. It's an interesting perspective. A disgusting man who could barely stand up. It's a man who dedicated his life to making money by lying to keeping murderers and rapists on the streets. A drug dealing pederast, actually. Fuck. Let's not forget the disease spreading whore. Only in a world this shitty. Could you even try to say these were innocent people and keep a straight face? But that's the point. Mm. We see a deadly sin on every street corner. Well, not anymore. I'm setting the example. It's a weird example. You should be thanking me. Why is that, John? Because you're going to be remembered after this. Wow. The only reason that I'm here right now is that I want it to be. You're only alive because I didn't kill you. Okay. It's actually true. That's true. Remember that, detective, every time you look in the mirror. Sit back, you fucking freak! Shut your fucking mouth! It's getting heated. That to say, John, that what you were doing was God's good work? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Oh, shit! What sins do we have left? Huh? 
You remember what sins are left? No. They did do a really good job with this movie. Very like ominous, creepy, good music. Like it's really well done. What do you got? Dead dog? Dead dog. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh You're my so god. Creepy. What time is it? Why? I'd like to know. 701. It's close. He's acting like something's gonna happen at a certain time, which is confusing because I'm pretty sure he's acting alone and he's handcuffed. So how is he gonna do anything at a certain time? But he, he had complete control over time before turning himself in. So maybe he set something up to... True. What is this? What the hell is this? What is happening? What is happening? I'm just delivering a package, man. I got this package for this guy, David. David Mills. What? What the fuck? Uh. We got a box. Call the bomb squad. I need a bomb squad. We got a box. That would suck to be in the bomb squad. Yeah. Well, you deal with this bombs. Squad. That's probably not true, but. It's just annoying because it's like you don't want to do this. You don't want to follow through this guy's plan as he wants it. But it's like he's headed north along the road. Haven't picked up. Oh, is this? You seen the meme? What's in the box? Okay. I'm gonna open it. No. Oh no. Why would you just open it instead of waiting for the bomb squad? I don't know. No, I don't want to know. It's blood. You should be very proud. Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. He keeps saying that. Why does he keep saying that? California, stay away from here. Stay away from here now. Don't, don't, don't come in here. What? John Doe has the upper hand. <gasps> what the fuck is it? Here he comes. What is happening? I wish I could have lived like you Shut did. Up. Trying to tell you how much I admire you. And your pretty wife. Did he kill is it his, his wife? wife? Is it the fucking kid? Is it their kid? Did he do some fucked up shit and cut the kid out? Part of me was like, is it her head? I visited your home this morning. I tried to play husband. It didn't work out. So I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. No. That's what I was thinking. No. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down. Oh, there. he's going to be the last. Like envy is my sin. No. He's going to shoot. So Tracy was the six box? and then the John is seven. You lie. You're a fucking liar. Is one anger? Shut up. What he wants. He wants you to shoot him. Come vengeance, dude. Oh, she's all right. You oh my God. Wow. Rat. Rat. Tell me she's all right. Uh. She begged for her life, detective. Shut up. And for the life of the baby inside of her. Oh my God. Are you going to complete his plan or what? He didn't know. Oh shit. He didn't know she was pregnant. Oh my God. Oh my God. He didn't know. Give me the gun, baby. Oh my God. He wins. He will win. Mm. Oh God. At that point, just don't kill him. A gunshot's too easy anyway. It's too fast. Oh. 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 So what was this sin? What, what sin was Tracy considered? What? What sin was Tracy considered? Who's Tracy? His wife? Nothing. His The dude's sin was envy, and he was supposed to be wrath. Oh, envy. So Tracy was envy. No, he's... the. John Doe said he was envy. He's always been envious of a normal life. But the names are, but the names are for the, the people that are dead. Where do you see Tracy? Her head is in the box. I don't know. Yeah, to incentivize him to experience wrath. Yeah, but Tracy is number six, so you're saying that's envy. Oh, I don't know. I'm saying John Doe's envy and John Doe got killed. John Doe is, represents wrath. Mills represents wrath. But the, the murder, Ernest the seven Hemingway things are dead people. The world is a fine Hold on, let's just listen. And worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that ending. 
Well, what is happening? So I guess the seven people died, one of which was the baby inside. I think the baby would be eight, right? Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong about that. Nonetheless, there's seven people dead and seven sins. And the twist of this whole thing is that John Doe is in fact a sinner himself, he said, which is like, what the fuck? And then that was the whole completion of the plan. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't necessarily expect someone like the murderer to become the murdered. And you wouldn't expect him to admit fault on his own part that people are just disgusting sinners. And now he's a sinner himself. Yeah. You can take Damn. your headphones off. Oh. What did you think about that? That was crazy. Man, that ending what was abrupt. I mean, it was kind of cool. Um, he, John Doe, was envious yeah, of Mills' but marriage. That, but that death is Tracy's the one that died in that scenario. No. The envious one died because Mills shot the envious one. He just put it into motion so that the envious one, being himself, would be killed. He just didn't kill himself. He had Mills kill him because Mills experienced the, the, the wrath. Psy what's the, the psycho's death can't represent Ow, both envy and wrath. Tracy's death is one of the seven. I, I guess, but I mean, my my best conclusion is that so there were six with John Doe dying, right? So the, there had to be a death for the seventh person, and that was Tracy? Yeah, so in the scenario that he describes where he was envious, Tracy dies. So it's like, even though Tracy wasn't the envious one, I believe she's... It just doesn't make sense, though, because John Doe died himself. So if he's the envious the, one... The la he was the last. He was number seven that died from wrath, but he wasn't the one that had the wrath. Okay, but the one that had the wrath didn't die. But, but the, the sin, the sin still caused it. That's the point. The, st the sin still caused it, but I yeah. mean, yeah. So envy caused Tracy's death. That makes sense. That was fucking crazy. That was really good. Yeah, it was good, man. I, that ending, I kind of want more. Like, I want to see more. Holy shit! What a mind fuck. That's uh, crazy. Uh, he had him complete the plan for him. The world is a fine place and worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. So, I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, he's seen so much. The world's not a fine place. The world's fucked up, but it's still worth fighting for. So, I just want to know, like, what's going to happen? Like, is he automatic? He, now, he committed murder. So, he's he has to lose his job, right? And then maybe he's going to be in prison. I just want to know. I want to see, <laughs> You like, want to know what happened, the trial afterwards? The this is our very first time checking this movie out. So if y'all out there have done your research or you know more about this movie or you know some missing details that we didn't pick up on, definitely let us know. Does the old guy retire? Like, I just need to know. <laughs> Got caught up in the stories Man, of the people. That was just an ugly, nasty city. Sorry if you live there. Yeah, where was that taken? Where, oh. What was the setting of that? I'm glad they didn't show her head. That's what I was thinking, though. For some reason, I wonder... I don't know where it was set. When he looked in the uh, box... An unnamed large city, so we don't know. When he looked in the box, because I said that, part of me was was thinking, what if it's her head? I thought it was going to be the damn... I thought that he was going to do something fucked up and cut the kid out. It was going to be the damn fetus. Going to have weird dreams tonight. Damn. Yeah, so... Anyway, guys, hope your gooch has been uh, sufficiently slapped. Mm. And your stomach is full. But... Hope you don't uh, peer over to the side of gluttony, because we know what will happen then. That was crazy. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Peace!